All right. Do you guys use the 1 800 Pro Flowers? Oh. I just use them online. I pay for it, so I don't want to. You did? Yeah, yeah. Like, you don't yeah, want any favors? No, I don't care. No favors? Well, you don't want any favors from these phonies? These phony balonies. And that way you see how it really works. I'm sure it's good. I just don't know what yeah. to write on a card ever, because you get to write it on a card on the computer. Like, uh -huh. What do you put? Did you did you put... Because Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Yeah. Did you put, I love you? I, no, I put, thanks for effing me. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that's what you wrote. No, I couldn't. I, <laughs> if I thought it would go through, I would, believe me. If I thought that they would keep it... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I get whacked because her uh, Valentine's Day is tomorrow and then her birthday's in five days. You don't get whacked. Why? You, you spend less money. You think? Yeah. Not this early in the relationship. But you spend less money. Over the years, you'll spend less money if, if you know, this is going to be a long term thing. Over the years. I buy her a bridge gift, like one thing, give it like the 17th in between the two days. <laughs> there you go. You'll do a, you'll you'll do a little less for Valentine's Day, knowing you have the birthday. I'm telling you, you, you save money in the end. Is that is I've that... known people that had uh, have been uh, with well, uh, it's ah uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to blow up uh, somebody's spot, but the, but you know they they get screwed in the end when you have a birthday very close to a major holiday. Yeah. Yeah. In the end, you save money because it's not as special, maybe because there's the other thing going on. So there's like two things. Yeah. I don't know what to put. Yeah, I put I love you, of course. Aw, but you don't know what to put before that. Dear sweetie. No. Baby. Yeah. Dear. Not dear. Not just, dear baby. No. Just it, is baby. it baby blank? Sometimes you do a baby doll or or a baby. No, he means it's a real baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby needs changing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're putting baby. Uh, uh, so how long have you been together, technically? We started seeing each other probably a couple of months. It's Though it has only been <laughs> a couple of months. <laughs> it seems like forever, you see. <laughs> I love you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just putting the most heinous oh, Valentine's wish. Day card, and not for, to somebody that has a sense of humor that would get it, yeah. but just really to one of these like housewives that just don't have that type of sense of humor, and just put that, it seems like it's been a lifetime with you, you see. <laughs> Let's blow up everyone's... Oh, my God. What is he doing? I should send one to my mother from my father. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do that. That's what I was getting at. We should get all our O&A pass to just send oh. out cards. <laughs> oh, is that great? Sign it from me. Because <laughs> we're not going to be able to figure out what their real names are. So just write from me. From me. me. <laughs> you I'm sending in this this card today because I have to from me from me. <laughs> How <laughs> funny would that be? Just a mass mailing of Valentine's Day cards. Wait for me in the bedroom. <laughs> I didn't include a vase. You know where I want to stick these. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Uh, but you, you you wrote something on the card? Just one line. Just one quick line. Yeah, because, I, I mean, we say nice things to each other. Aww. I'm always like, hey, you know, Me. you're nice. You're you're nice. Yeah. Are you going out? Are you doing, are you doing anything? Or? I don't know if we are tomorrow. I know for the birthday we're going out to dinner. Yeah. I don't think we made plans for tomorrow. Yeah. The, the, going out on Valentine's Day is ridiculous. Yeah, plus something. So you got to go, like, the night before or yeah. after. Mm -hmm. She's going me this weekend anyway to gigs, so we'll hang out. We'll go very early. Take have, a horse ride. Have, have a brunch. She loves brunch. I hate it. I did a brunch last year. It worked out perfect. Brunch stinks unless you drink. Yeah. When you're drinking, brunch is the best thing. Used to do brunch in Huntington. Yeah. Right uh, by, right, uh, right, uh, kind of near uh, F.H. Riley's over there in Huntington. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. My brother's restaurant, 400 New York Avenue? Yeah. Yeah, it was right there. There's a place for brunch, and uh, the actual food bill was something like forty bucks for like four people, and the booze bill was three hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> and this was Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah, ooh, the Bloody Marys. 
<laughs> he had a drink because he was miserable. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I ever. No, he drinks to have fun. Ah, this is great brunch, <laughs> you piece of crap. <laughs> oh, give me another mimosa. I'd like to have a mimosa tree with you wrapped around it. It's <laughs> <laughs> an actual tree. <laughs> <laughs> she was a shrew, huh? Oh. Oh, boy. What? Oh. I mean... <clears throat> God, I can't. You know when people say, you know, uh, uh, you, usually over time, you only remember the good times. You barely remember those bad times. So it makes like uh, nostalgia seem, you know, you get nostalgic about things. Yeah. And it makes old times seem better than they were because you're only remembering the good and not the bad. I cannot remember good. I have no recollection of, of any real good time. But you were married for ten years. Ten years. Give not me, Nine years. Nine please. years. And, and I don't really remember. I remember having good times uh, when I wasn't with her, like <laughs> like during those nine years, like hanging out with friends, yeah. doing the show, things like that. But I don't remember actually sitting down. And having one good time. Not one. No, no that's just it. I'm, I'm trying to find one. Would you be sad if she died? I will be a thousand percent honest with you. No. I would not be sad. I don't wish death on anybody. That's a, an awful thing to carry around with you. You know, so I wouldn't do that, honestly. Uh, but if, God forbid, <laughs> something were to happen, I wouldn't be sad about it. I wouldn't be sad. Would you cry? No. I wouldn't go to the funeral. I wouldn't do anything. How much? She's nothing to me. How much time would you spend with the news? With the news? Of that particular of, news. Of that event? Yes. <laughs> We're on to something else. What, what do you want to talk about? What would your reaction be? Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's see. You'd probably know first. Why would I know? Because you'd probably get some kind of message from somebody that knows her. Being in the Huntington circles. I don't know about that. You might. Uh, An old friend I, of hers. I honestly don't know what uh, she's been up to. No, no, I know. But if it's something like that, if, if she was up to death, you might you get a phone call. I'm trying to think. It might be. Maybe. What about the what about the ex, maybe? No. No? No. Oh, no good. No. I mean, even under that extreme circumstance. No. No? Well, she might then have someone call you. Probably. I don't know. You'd probably find out. Just because of the Huntington connection. Yeah, the Huntington all right. thing. So, you all right, know, we find You're out. in the bar business. So, you know, they'd all go into mourning. They'd, <laughs> they'd fly their flags at half mast. <laughs> fly their, half of them would be out of business. <laughs> fly their taps at half mast. <laughs> their taps. They're going out of business. Well, oh, we can pour beer and play taps at the same time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just see bar for sale, bar for sale. Sorry, guys, only half a beer for everybody today. I'd find only out. Only pouring half beers today. Half beers today. I'd go, um, I'd go, uh. Hmm, wow, how'd that happen? Yeah. And then I'd be curious as to how it happened, and then I'd go, oh, well, I better stop the automatic payments. <laughs> Here's a question. If you could choose, obviously you'd never do anything, but if, if, mm -hmm. if you, in mm -hmm. some grand scheme in the universe, yes. could choose how it would happen. Like, say God came to you. Choose how it would and happen. said, this is your choice. How would you want it to happen? Mm. That's too much responsibility but like if you had for to, man. Just, for me, if, if he for did, one like, man, man. Uh, say if, if you if you if you if you you threw dice onto a bunch of All different right. choices, what choice would you want to have happen? I like ooh, something ooh, ironic. Ooh, 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 I'll answer. I'll Grant. call on Greg mm -hmm. on the way to uh, the bank, uh, uh, trying to cash a uh, an alimony, an alimony check. check. Yeah, something ironic. Yeah. yeah, I would like something ironic. Knowing my pal Anthony, it would have to be something ironic. Something a little twisted and ironic. Yeah, where, where you would have to go. <laughs> On the way. That's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I didn't want to say it, but... You, know, you don't want to look like a complete ass, funny. so you'd be like, oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah. You think about it. Wasn't that odd? She was going there to... You know, if she didn't make it to the bank, does that mean that that's hers? Wait, the, <laughs> the bus she was on to go to the bank with the big check did what? Wow. Yeah, that's kind of funny. That's kind of <laughs> funny and interesting. 
Oh, what's new? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can't remember one good time. I just don't. That didn't involve, like, other other people, and the good time was with the other people and drinking and, you know, hanging out, partying, and things like that. And this she was just an incidental cancer. Right. Okay. An incidental cancer <laughs> on the good time. <laughs> A malignant tumor on the good time that could not be removed and still is there. <laughs> Isn't it nice to be in a happy and healthy relationship? Yes. Do you write romantic stuff on cards? I can't picture you being romantic. Me? I think you'd be very lovey and dovey, but do you like actually sit down and would you write something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it lovey dovey? I'm a writer. How could you be lovey and dovey? Could someone just be dovey? Yes. <laughs> That's silly if you're just dovey without being lovey. It's if you're kind of a faggot and, and you like birds at the same time. You're just coo. Yeah, you're just coo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being dovey, honey. Coo. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to crap all over your patio. <laughs> You'll put up plastic owls to keep me away. Coo. <laughs> How do you know the noise doves make? <laughs> I don't know. I've shot a few in my day. <laughs> I used to go dove hunting in California. <laughs> Twist their little heads off and skin them. Aw. So, um, wait, what would, you, what would you write that's romantic? What's something that you'd write that's romantic, like that's nice? I'm not sharing. Come on, something. It doesn't have to be something you've written, but just something you could think of writing. Something soft and sweet. Mmm trying to think of something that I actually didn't write. Well, that's something you wrote. It's not no, bad. No, no. I'm, I'm a sad. Weed. Oh, yeah. You gotta write sweetie, comma, indent. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just write what you feel. That's right. Three simple words. I am gay. <laughs> well, maybe not those words. <laughs> Something with you complete me. Aww. Oh, that's a good one. I wish I would have known that. See, I didn't write that at all. I wrote, thank God I was a complete person before I met you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. I used to have a lot more fun before I met you. Dear <laughs> Is it wrong? baby. <laughs> that, that's terrible. I'm sorry. How about... Baby, comma, thank you for saving me a fortune in hookers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she'd like that. <laughs> All right. You uh, complete me. That's good. I should have thought of that. Oh, Chris has a good one, I guess, a good ironic way. All right. Let's okay. go to Chris in Queens. Chris. Hey, guys. Good morning. How you doing, my friend? And I just thought it'd be so ironic that your wife would get hit by an MTA bus. With a big free FM billboard with you and a, you and Opie smiling. <laughs> now that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would be fantastic. Crossing the street with that big check in her hand, and here comes a bus with the big O and A sign on the side. <laughs> on on whip them out Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Shwiggy. Shwiggy. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey Shwiggy. Hey, Ed, after listening to you for all these years, I need to know, was your wife a looker? A looker? Was she good looking? You never described what she looked like. Mm. Yeah, she was average. <laughs> I'll give her that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, I was a tin knocker. I had no what was idea. I gunning for? A supermodel? I had no idea how you were going to answer that. Uh, I was, I was ah, she was average. Hey, Opie, just a question for you, man. Uh, you told the story about uh, Sandy yeah. and uh, Aunt's ex. Think those two were getting it on and off? She pulled a carol on you from friends? <laughs> I have I have no idea if those two even talk. I have no clue. Because you said they were very good friends and they kind of turned on you. Well, that doesn't mean that people are involved in a lesbian relationship. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> it just, it just seemed, uh, they were on a cruise together? I mean, come on. Who knows? I think that was more a uh, way to get back at me. That was a good one, too. Yeah, Got to give her that. Jesus. God bless them if they're having fun with each other. Whatever. Took my Amex card and went and took Opie's ex-girlfriend on a cruise. How'd that happen? By, by taking my Amex card and putting a... Uh, Why didn't you refuse uh, the charges? Um, I paid you back. It was like done or something by the time I found out. I felt so guilty. I'm like, dude, I had nothing to do with this, but here. 
Yeah, I'll pay, me, I'll pay me back. I was in my own hell. I'm like here. His share of it. But isn't that stealing? Yeah. No, there's no stealing in, in that. Oh, marriage, man. Yeah, yeah, no that's stealing right. Stealing in marriage. Stealing. In a marriage gone wrong, there's no stealing until it's uh, final. How much did it cost you, the whole vacation that you didn't want to... I don't remember. I, I blocked that out of my head. Yeah, it was a few Gs. Oof. And that was after taking the 40 Gs. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. So it's awful. A lot of Gs. I was going Gs all the time. Gs. <laughs> Gs. All those Gs. Gs. <laughs> oh, this is such a good uh, day before Valentine's Day conversation. <laughs> oh, look, I'm getting all nostalgic. I'm getting all misty. My eyes are welling up and tearing, thinking about all the Gs. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact you went, eh, she was average. <laughs> eh, it was. I didn't you know. it. She was just average. She was average. She looked better at the beginning, you know, of the whole thing. Back in, like, uh, I guess it was the late 80s, somewhere around there. And then it was just, you know, <laughs> do a few shots too many. <laughs> <laughs> and those, God. <laughs> did, but, did, where, where's my Where's my, where's my beep? Where's my beep? Because I I can't even I can't even those goddamn <laughs> nails. Holy, <laughs> what the f was she thinking about those <laughs> nails? What do you mean? They were so long they started kind of um, curving. Dude, Ew. she had this friggin' obsession. And I don't know if she still does or not. With these nails that would be be a, a, as long, a half the length of her fingers themselves, giant, claw-like that lying. you usually see on big, fat African American women. I would go with two to three, two inches. Huge, easily two inches. Huge. Did you think it was kind of cute? No, <laughs> never liked the nails. Did you ever tell her? Hated the nails. Why would I want to invite that upon myself? <laughs> Why, Opie, would I invite that hell upon me? Um, hey, you know something? I was just, just, just here's my opinion. Why don't you sit down and have a shot? I mean, <laughs> let me, uh, I don't. I've seen um, this, by the way. And would always have to try to soften the beaches before he had to say something that might be construed as yeah, controversial. Unpleasant. Yeah. Unpleasant. Right? I know there was a phase back in the oh, 80s oh, wait, at wait. some point. Let her, let her drink a little. All right. Take, you. <laughs> take a few more sips. Now I've had my drink. <laughs> I, I, I know uh, uh, the 80s, at some point in the 80s, it was kind of in to have long nails. A lot of girls had like these talons for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, it's now 1996. Uh, maybe you should cut them down a little. You could still have like nails and go to the nail place and, and, you know, ha have them done, get the manicure and everything and, and paint them and everything. But maybe they could be a little, um, shorter to, oh, short like your <laughs> is that how long you want him? As big as that excuse for a <laughs> now, now look, there's no need to get personal and stuff. It's just my opinion. Uh, the people I see really don't wear nails like that anymore. So why don't you go <laughs> yourself? I'll wear these nails. Look, how about I chase you around the house and go to scratch your eyes out with the <laughs> nails? I hope this is funny for others. Happy Valentine's Day, <laughs> Ed. Because I, I lived this. Wait. Oh, with the nails. So she would never like really compare, like make fun of your size, would she? No, no, I was okay. kidding about that. I know how that affects Jimmy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, fast no. the fun drained out of the room for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just thought that would be the ultimate insult for a man. She, I, I, I don't even really remember the. Um, wouldn't be insult. She wouldn't really insult me as much as just get belligerent. And there wasn't. If there was an insult, it would kind of be refreshing because it would mean there was a thought process going on. It was just these things like, yeah, why don't you go f yourself? W why? And then I try to be reasonable. Logically, tell me. Try to tell me why I should go f 
myself. Could you just <laughs> like why are you saying that? I did nothing. Ten minutes ago, everything was fine. Now I should go myself. What happened in those ten minutes? Ten minutes, five minutes, whatever it is. You could go every minute. So you're not making sense. I'm not making sense. <laughs> you, you're not making sense. Uh, what changed? I really uh, tried to get her to say, what changed over 10 minutes besides 10 <laughs> shots? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh so hard. Oh, this is like, he's, oh, he's nailing this like you oh, wouldn't believe. And I've logically tried to explain. <laughs> How many times did I? Didn't work. Cause, and never I worked. used to hang out a lot back in the day and... Socially, how many times did I look at you and go, "What, what, what happened? Is, yeah, what happened? What happened? Everything was just like what happened? Dory. <laughs> what happened? What happened? I, I went to the bathroom so many times. Like, like open you go I'm to the there, bathroom and come back. I'm there. I'm watching the same stuff. I'm like, yeah. What happened? Did you like, like, like uh, sign something to her? I, I, no, I did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing. And he, it would be just like, hi. And all of a sudden, I'm like, I what happened? I, like, I, I, uh, like Dr. Bellows, you'd be like, Dr. I, uh, but, but just a second ago, and then, but Major <laughs> Nelson, I looked over here, and she was fine, and I came back, and well, she's a belligerent. <laughs> what happened, Major? <laughs> but then I, but I saw there was, there was a woman there and two seconds ago, and now she's telling you to go <laughs> yourself. I, but, Major Nelson. He's always so confused. <laughs> that was Opie. What happened? I I, I, I came back. I, I would be so confused. Like, what could have possibly happened? Oh, wow. It just got brutal. What fun. Happy Valentine's, every, everybody. And if you're planning on getting engaged, a lot of people do that on Valentine's Day. Uh, congrats. Congrats. I was your pal back then. We would drive together. Oh. Now, I've said this before. We would be pulling up to Aunt's old crib, and I go... You want to take a ride around the block? And he goes, yeah, yeah. Maybe we could stop off at the bar. And then I'd go, so do I. Yeah. <laughs> Little does the world know what's going on. They think we're just rock stars. So do I. <laughs> oh. It was miserable, huh? I was so miserable. It would be completely, it was, it was completely done. Like, it was just, it was just People done. Thought we had the greatest lives. <laughs> well, you know, career-wise, of course we did. Yeah, of course we did. But uh, <laughs> there were times where all I wanted to do was like not be in that house, and uh, I'd walk in, and oh, remember the candles? Where she <laughs> thought that was going to save the marriage. We would pull up to the house. She thought this was going to save the marriage. We would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the candle. <laughs> we was, I, we were, <laughs> I forgot about this. I know what he's going to say. Oh, it was horrible. We would pull up to the house, and there would be candles lit all over. Like all you could over see the house. The street. And, and oh, for, and for and a and split and second and of joy, I thought the place was in flames. <laughs> and, and, and it wasn't It wasn't Hanukkah. It wasn't, Hanukkah? And it's not Jewish. It's like, why the candle? I asked. I'm like, Anthony, why the candle? What are candles doing all over the place? Like, the lights are all out because we, you know, obviously we did afternoons. So when we get home, especially in the winter, it would be dark out. Yeah, we'd finally make it back to Huntington, Huntington around 11. <laughs> around 11. Night. I don't know what the hell time it was. But we'd pull up to the house and it's just lit up like uh, when Carrie got back from the prom. <laughs> you know? I could see your dirty pillars. Let's go in the closet and pray. So he'd pull up to the house, and I would just go, oh, no. <laughs> I'd go, oh, no. It's candle it's night. It's candle night. <laughs> she thinks this is going to do it. Lighting candles. <laughs> she thought that would, like, make the whole scene romantic. Meanwhile, what was romance was the last thing. What was waiting for you inside? I never asked you that. Uh, the candles. Mm -hmm. um, dinner. Mm -hmm. And then um, f frolicking, if she wanted some type of frolicking. But um, what I would do would be eat dinner. Uh, the candlelight would kind of be disturbed by me turning the television on. <laughs> and then I would work my way over to my desk going... <laughs> <laughs> 
blowing out the candles to the desk, boot up Half Life and play. <laughs> because that's what you had half a life. That's what I had half a life. You had half a wow. life. Wow. So, Maybe that's why I enjoyed the game so much. So you figured might as well play the other half online. Oh. <laughs> you just hear me walking, <laughs> blowing out candles <laughs> along the way. It's over, Johnny. I'm the potty pooper. <laughs> that's me. Shut up. You don't want to make love? Oh, dude. Oh, the, make love. The greatest reaction. Stop it. Pulling up and he would just have this look on his face like, oh, no. Like, oh, no. no not oh, candle night. Jesus, no, not candle night. <laughs> not candle night. Because in order for there to be candle night, I think she would have to be half in the bag. So it was candle night. And and you'd come high. Oh. How you doing? Oh. <sighs> doing a lung test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see how many I could blow out in one breath. Did you say I love you a lot? Uh, no. No. Especially, like, toward the end. It was just, you know, maybe one of those, love ya, <laughs> those stand-in for I love. When someone says I love you, and you get, love ya, mm -hmm. love you back. <laughs> you get that? It's, it's over. It's just over. Me too. Yeah, me too. Oh, if you get a me too. Love you, me too. I love myself. Hate you. Followed, love me. Followed by a... <laughs> Back at you, kid. Back at you, kiddo. <laughs> well, uh, happy Valentine's yeah, Day let me you just, and yours. Let's wrap it all up by just wishing everyone for tomorrow. Happy Valentine's Day. No, it doesn't stop during the commercials. I was going to say, just in case Holy you were wondering, Jesus. he hasn't stopped. I finally had to say, whoa, whoa, save it for the air. It doesn't stop. Jimmy asked him a question. Uh, Jimmy, what was your question again? Um, I don't remember. What was it? Oh, uh, did she ever embarrass you in public? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you said that she would start drinking. I'm like, did she ever embarrass you in public? Yeah. By the way, this is the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, it was It was like her job. It was a. It, it was an <laughs> occupation. <laughs> It was her the job public, to annoy you in public. The public um, embarrassment factor. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it was, you know, hanging out at a bar or something. And she'd be fine, a couple of drinks, and then, wham, it would just hit, and it was over. It was just, you know, a totally different person. And uh, I bring up one time at the Fire Island. Uh, we used to go out to Watch Hill out there, take the family boat. Nice, big what was it, a 38-foot 30, Sea Ray? Nice boat. Take it out there and just park in a slip and sit and party all weekend long. It was good times. Go out with the band. We'd set up and uh, do a gig at the bar over there. Yeah, I had some really good times over there. And it would just always end up, again, in one of these fiascos. And the thing about the, uh, the boat, getting on it... Um, <clears throat> now, now, this had been going on for years. Uh, uh, my mother and Sal and everybody, all the friends had, had been going to Watch Hill for years. They all had their boats. All the friends had boats. And uh, to get back on the boat from the dock, there's a little gangway. This thing is probably bah, a couple of feet wide, and it would go from the dock to the back of the boat. And you'd walk up. It's very short. The boat is backed right up to the, the dock, so it's very short, but you had to walk over to get to the boat. Well, one evening, uh, as she was walking back onto the boat, we uh, hear a Wah! splash. She fell off the gangway into the green sewage water that everyone dumps their, their crap boxes from the boats into. Uh, you know, their baby <laughs> diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, all the, the crap that comes out of the boat, out of the bilge, <laughs> and, all the, and all oil and, all the, and oil and gas. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, she comes up looking like uh, one of the Exxon Valdez uh, penguins, <laughs> just full of oil and crap and gook. <laughs> Actually, I think someone had to stick their hand in and grab her and and pull her out. Okay. And the wall of these uh, docks that when they go down below water are just stuck with barnacles. Uh, so she tore up the side of herself so bad 
and it was uh, the water so murky that it got that cat scratch red, you know, and when you, know, you get a cat scratch, it's like, oh, it's a little scratch, and then the next day, ah, medic! <laughs> it's like your arm's going to fall off. That's what it was like over uh, one whole side of her body. Just fell right in. Tipped over. I was watching the whole thing, too. She just walked, kind of went, like, sideways. Whoop! She splashed down. Right in there. Got pulled out. I fell in the water. <laughs> yes, you did. I can't believe I fell in the water. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it either. It's terrible. Did you try to help her out? Uh, no, other people were there to give her a hand before I could actually get over there. Yeah, Natalie Wood, really? <laughs> I, I just kind of, I was actually looking for the keys to start up the engine. It's on the, <laughs> it's on the dock. Wait for it. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Why are you starting up the engine? Propellers could be a little dangerous. <laughs> But that's, uh, she embarrassed you? Oh, oh, because she did that, that would be an embarrassment. Yeah, everybody was watching. No, that, 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 The thing is, no one had, had fallen off of the this it, thing in years. I mean, it's something you just didn't do. And people, believe me, were hammered. It's something you knew when you walked up that gangway. Even if, you know, you were all teetery on the dock, you kind of lined yourself up <laughs> and then ran for it. So, like, sheer momentum would carry you over. <laughs> How far of a walk was it? It was uh, probably a th three feet at the most from the dock to the back of the boat. Three feet over a two-foot wide gangway that you would kind of run up. You know when you got to get across something that's slim? You kind of, if you run a little bit, you get across it easier than if you tried walking across. That's kind of what you did. You just kind of gave it a, a little hop, skip, and a jump, and you're on the boat. And wham, halfway through. It's like she's on the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a gangway, and bam, right down into the water. Oh, what a great moment that was. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> all right. She's soaking wet and bleeding with the oil all over her. <laughs> Would she ever start shit like around your family? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's, Jimmy's a potty mouth. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's not too good. I love it. Uh -huh. <laughs> what happened there, Jimmy? What do you say, Al? <laughs> I hope you got it, Al. <laughs> what do you say? $40,000. You just saved the company 40 G's. <laughs> oh, Hal, it's $350,000. Oh, Ali, 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 Ali. What do you say, Al? He got that one. I'm sure he did. That's an easy one. That's easy. That's crap. pop fly. Yeah, that's like, oh, <laughs> boring. I'll, I'll, I'll catch this. With that's one. I'll catch this with one hand. One hand looking down on the run. As I'm looking at the babe in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> shag it. Oh, shag it. Hey, yeah. yeah. Oh. You're running back to the dugout because you know the inning's over. Pop. Just grab it. I thought this job would be a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what were you saying, Jimmy? I was wondering, like, because uh, it's like, it's like, um, I know your mom and I know Sal, and I'm saying, would she ever get, like, weird, like, or uncomfortable around your family, like, loud and embarrass you and start to fight? Oh, yeah, yeah. God, that had to start. Let me think. Oh, at my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. Really? She got into this screaming match with my brother. At your wedding? At my <laughs> wedding. Oh, my God. To the point where my mother went, what the f <laughs> is wrong with her? This is a wedded bliss. This is on the wedding Did your day. mom say that to you? Yeah. She goes, what the, what the, what the. Yeah, we got it, we got it. I got it, I got it. Mm -hmm. She'd be, what the f is wrong with her? I was like, oh, well, and then, you know, it started my nine years of making excuses. <laughs> that was it. I'm glad I got to start on day one. My nine years of making excuses. Well, you know, it's big day, had a little bit to drink, so, you know, a little, a little crazy. Nervous, you know. Yeah, that, oh. Because apparently my brother was trying to pick up on uh, her, one of our cousins, Mm -hmm. That were down from Massachusetts. Isn't that what your family members are supposed to do at a wedding? Of course it is. Course. Check out the new talent and see course. what you can get. Of course. <laughs> Sneak into the bathroom and make waterheads. Right.
Oh, you pull the old Sonny Corleone up in the bedroom. <laughs> That's what weddings are for. So Joe is... Uh, Sonny, yeah, be right down. <laughs> so Joe's scooping out the talent. Yeah, yeah, and uh, she, for some reason, scooping found this out, disrespectful. <laughs> scooping. I know. What scooping the hell was out, I trying to say whatever. there? Was checking out? Whatever. Okay. Scoping? That's scoping, right. I meant to say, sure. Scoping I, out the talent. Scooping, wow. Dude, yeah. I Oof. think you didn't do an incest reference about families that aren't I, related. I enjoyed that, actually, <laughs> But Jimmy. it didn't make sense because Anthony's family wouldn't have been related to her family, so they wouldn't have made waterheads. I just, I was totally... Yeah, true. Both of us went down together. You were thinking that Brother oh. Joe was picking up his own cousin. Yeah, it was I'll help you out. Oh, so what happened? So, what yeah. happened? so, so Joe uh, was like trying to pick up uh, yeah. someone from her family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Well, believe me, it's Joe. Would have just been, you know, <laughs> thank you, good night. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, she found this like disrespectful to do on the, uh, the, the wedding day. This g- grandiose yeah. wedding. This is, yeah, this grandiose class wedding that was, was not a I... time or place to try to pick up a family member. This grandiose what wedding. What do you think you're doing, you <laughs> It was just like Princess uh, Diane's wedding. Oh, of course. Had all the features. Uh, <laughs> only wish it ended like hers, her life did. <laughs> <laughs> this grandiose wedding. Flesh. Weren't you like Flesh married in a basement or something? A basement. It was um, the actual wedding took place in uh, Northport. As a matter of fact, right down the road, I, I wouldn't know this until later, but right down the road from Opie's house in Northport, where uh, uh, you were living when you were working at BAB. Which church? It wasn't a church. It was a justice of the peace that lived down there. <laughs> it was some guy's house. I went to a guy's house. To get married? To get married. And this old guy comes out of this back room with his wife. That he just banged? Yeah, no, no. He's like some old guy. They, 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 I, They're probably swingers, though. Maybe. This is how they pick up. Yeah, maybe. You couples. never know. And uh, so he comes out, blah, 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 blah. Everything was signed. And uh, that's it. I was married. I was hoping, like, I would f- read in the paper that he was a fraud. <laughs> like, for years, I was looking for his name, going, please, like, like fraud, uh, just as a piece, yeah. how many wedding uh, uh, marriages aren't real? And I'd be like, oh, please be this guy, please be, well, damn hoping, it. You're looking at the certificate, hoping they spelled Anthony wrong. Yeah, just something like when you get, a, like, a parking get ticket. Get out of a ticket. Uh, my car's oh. red. Wow, this is a blue car. <laughs> right. I'm out. Got my age wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. So justice of the peace. Yeah. Uh, and that's how the whole thing was supposed to happen. But then she started getting this bug about, you know, well, my mom wants to come down and see. And then that because that mom wants to come down that, you know, then my mother has to see because she'd feel left out. And then if this two, these two are going to be there, then this one. And before you know it, uh, there was a lot of people with nowhere to go for a wedding because I didn't have the proverbial pot to in or a window to throw it out of, as they say. So uh, we had this huge bunch of people and nothing to really do with them. No planning went behind this. So it was just like, ah, we'll go to the bar my mother works at (laughs) and set up some kind of chafing dishes uh, with some ziti in it. Yeah. Awful, huh? Bon voyage, couple. <laughs> Have a good one. Ziti. Godspeed. <laughs> Some ziti <laughs> and a Carvel wedding cake. There's nothing worse. I was the only bar one with ziti. Bar wedding cake. <laughs> 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 it, was, <laughs> it was me. And it was married in Northport and honeymooned in East Northport. <laughs> <laughs> it was then. <laughs> Honeymoon in Comac. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah. So that was uh, <laughs> that was it. It was a justice of the peace. And then uh, the big argument, because then we all went back to the house we were living at. And uh, there was you know, a carryover of the party there. And that's where the big blowout with uh, my brother happened. And, th- and I'm, I'm making excuses already. Like, oh, yeah, well, you know how it but is. But knowing your brother, he wasn't disrespectful. He was just trying to pick up a... No, it had nothing to do with... He was uh, trying to pick up a girl at, had at a wedding. had nothing to do with being disrespectful. Disrespe- it's just, it's what guys do at weddings, first of all. It was not, but, but you know, this is the unreasonable thing I, I was talking about. Right. What are you doing? I got brought, yeah. And, and she went up, that's right. Oh, my God, it's all coming back to me. It wasn't only, because my brother was at the point where he just, you know, turned around and said, you know something? You. 
and just walked away from the fight. Oh, boy. So she walks up oh, to my mother. Boy. My poor mommy oh, is boy. sitting on a, a couch with duct tape on the arm. I can't even look. In a house full of cat hair. <laughs> in this little crap hole basement apartment. Yeah. She's sitting on this couch. Yeah. And my brand new bride <laughs> walks up to my mother, gets right in her face and goes, Your f***ing son is a f***ing <laughs> Oh, and my mother's just like sitting there and looks at me like, excuse me. You know, I uh, been been around a, a few too many years to have to put up with this kind of <laughs> Anthony. Um, didn't you learn from me? Yeah, Ed? didn't you learn from me? <laughs> right. <laughs> So and glad and you, she you picked up on that yelling, life lesson. She started yelling at my mother, yeah. calling my brother. Uh, an a-hole. A oh. And I'm I'm like, oh my god, oh boy, this is not going well. How glad are you? More booze! How glad are you that you uh, never had kids? I could not be happier. And how do you escape that one? I don't know. Luck of, luck of the draw, my friend. Fanny your face. Luck of the draw. <laughs> Fanny your face. Oh, well, we know what Ed chose. <laughs> Back to Jaja rules. <laughs> Fanny your face. <laughs> But then, uh, how long did you date this chick for? Before, because I, I don't, I didn't know any. I don't know any of your. How did it you was. Any of yours? Let me think. But you don't know his ex? No, I met her one That's time so at your at your dad's wake. Actually, it was the only time I ever I ever met or saw her. I didn't know what she looks. I wouldn't remember her. She walked in this room. Was she surprised you weren't serving cocktails? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so how'd you escape the uh, the old children? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It, 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 you figure uh, nine, well, eight years, uh, just luck of the draw, I guess, timing. Because at some point, because she wanted to have kids, too. So at one point, we went to this, in Boston, went to this fertility uh, clinic to see if one of us had a problem. And, uh, you know, I had to give a little sample. <laughs> and they checked it out, and mine checked out fine. They're like, look at them. Look at them. They're swimming. There's plenty of them. It's like a party going on. They all got goatees. They're ready to go. Yeah, they're ready to go. <laughs> they're ready to fertilize. <laughs> Maybe they knew. <laughs> they saw it and went, <laughs> one of them held all of them back. Wait, guys. Yeah. Boys, boys, hold on. <laughs> boys, stop in your tracks. Look, I know you want to do this. The egg is right here. But I implore you, don't touch it. <laughs> It will be years of misery. Turn around and go back the way you came. C A M E, Al. <laughs> oh, it's the same way, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Send that back the way it came. <laughs> You think, you think they would try to just avoid it all together and go, all right, look, aim for the thighs. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was one of those situations where, uh, yeah, I got checked out, and then um, I guess we never pursued it past that as far as checking out to see if everything was okay. So she but, just um, assumed you were the problem. I don't know. Well, you were always the problem I, in, in her Perhaps. Eyes. Perhaps that was it. I was just the in problem. Her, in her eyes. What what I could do, no right. Right. That was pretty Poor much Anthony. it. Dude, I can't get enough of this. This is a, I, I, I can't it, comprehend it. Because it just it keeps happening. See, you know how I can't comprehend a lot of the things? The, this is how I feel when you talk. <laughs> like, you can't you possibly. Look you're yeah, looking this is at what me it looks like. like Jimmy, yeah, yes. this is what it looks like. <laughs> Wait, is, is this a tranny story? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> This is why I don't know why, and and, and I, I I don't know why I stayed in it that long. It just it just years kind of went by, and and I and then once the radio gig came along, I was so fixated on that. That's what I tell people that it just didn't matter. I could didn't matter. I, I could care less. Uh, who I was married to at that point in my life. That's what the, that's what I tell people because they ask me because I stayed in my relationship way too long and I'm like I, I think Aunt and I were in we were in the same place and we were like going for this uh, this radio goal that it was like ah uh, we problems but whatever 
just focused on our careers and made it. I might have been out of my marriage sooner if I didn't get into radio. I think I might have been out of it sooner. Right. But, you know, who knows? We were taking on the world, so it was like. Wish I all was. that crap was secondary. It's like, oh, I'll get to that eventually. We well, don't have a major <laughs> yeah. point, too. What? When you're doing, like, when you get a big gig, you don't need, like, a major personal life change, too. Sometimes, like, leave the status quo. It's like, ah, all right, all right, all right. I, you know, I'm working yeah. on this. I don't well, that didn't that. even matter, either, to me. Like, especially, we had just gotten the gig and everything, and it was brand new, like, radio to me. I'd never done it before. So, the, any problems in the marriage was, was offset by, I I don't care. Honestly. I'm friggin' going a, a, a dream gig. And honestly, if we were in good relationships, we would have uh, still had to put all that on hold and make some sacrifices, because this was it. It was happening. We were in the moment. Yeah. It just made it easier, because that was what it was. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm. Well, we had to work our asses off back in the day. Now we don't work at all. This is beautiful. Wedding day. Can't believe she yelled at my mother on our wedding day. How long totally did you Totally forgot work? about that. Oh, that? right, right, right. It had to be about. Um, let me see. Green, green, green. It's just short of a year. Oh wow, it's kind of short thin, of right? a year. What happened? Yeah, it was short of a year that we were oh, going out. <clears throat> and then, but again, I had said before, I, I had thought it was time, you know, for me to get married. I was. I had to be a big boy. I had to be an adult. I used to go down to the bar where my mother used to work and sit down, and everybody that was there, I was still like Rosie's kid, you know? I was like, hey, hey, Rosie, get your kid a drink. And it's like, well, I'm still just, I'm Rosie's kid. Like, I'm not a guy. I, I'm not going to be a guy until I start doing, like, I'm not going to be a man guy until I start doing man guy things. And getting married is one of them. So I figured now is time to do that, you know, get to get a house, do things that you're supposed to do when you grow up. And then I realized, oh, this growing up crap is for the birds. <laughs> I'm going to stay a man-child. <laughs> okay, I one, one, I, 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 there's a lot more to get to. Oh, of course there is. I, first, I can't believe he was a codependent. I can't believe Anthony was a codependent. This is ours. I have to say, how did, you ask, how did you ask him? I can't picture him being... Oh, that story is just <laughs> oh, is stunning. Oh, oh we've it's, told that one. It's ridiculous. Really? Yeah. It's one of the saddest, <laughs> most ridiculous... Uh, Unromantic uh, uh, yeah. stories. We, we gotta save for another time. Yeah, we're okay. late. We gotta. Yeah, we gotta, we're late. We gotta it. go sell some more crap. We'll be back. <laughs>